What's good, everybody? It's your boy Shay Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of uh, The Celebrity Junk. And I was going to show y'all my elbows, what? but I didn't bring no lotion. And they are ashy. I didn't want to get roasted up in the comments. But check this out, right? Give me some different background, like it's some different music. So again, Kevin Samuels has a fans Facebook group. And guys, it goes on like all night long. You will have roasting, you will have simps, you will have chicks that are hitting the wall, you will have white people in there, you got Asians in there, you got everybody in there, all in one group, like the Rainbow Coalition and Jesse Jackson, everybody getting along and beefing, right? But there's a particular episode or post I want to talk about it. Bring it up behind me back here where this sister said, you are not a high value man if you have a credit score below 600. Can I get a ooh sound effect? Oh! <laughs> and don't get me wrong, credit is important. I mean, my credit score is not 600 like some of you niggas out there, but so, some of y'all are broke, stop the show. Um, like really broke. But anyways, I never recall or remember Kevin Samuels talking about, you know, a freaking credit score to be a high value man. But it's amazing how when women want to redefine what the definition is to, you know, make it their purpose or make it what they want it to be, they can come up with any kind of ridiculous excuse to make their own definition of what a man should be, especially a black man, when they usually can't, let's be honest, you can't, you can't keep a man. But she got actually roasted on this post, man. And it's good, I gotta actually go um, and go to the comments, right? We gonna walk over to the computer, walk in sound, we gonna go check it out. And let me just say this before, bring up the your in the background. Um, sisters, before you start telling somebody what your needs to be. Make sure you spell it right. Like put an arrow there. Yeah, it's U R Y O apostrophe R E, not this. So you need to get that. But let's get into the comments. All right, guys, this is gonna be crazy, and we're gonna start with the sister here. Daddy music. You're not. Stop the show. <coughs> Corona. You Y O U R. How dumb are you? Stay music. You're not a high value man with a credit score under 600. Just going to sit this here. Well, you're not a high value woman when you can't freaking spell. Well, let's see what the guys had to say about that. Drum roll, please. Mr. Leroy, he goes. You don't need credit when you can just straight buy it. Okay, that's a good point. I mean, I, pff, that nigga ain't got no money, but it sounds good, it sounds good, right? Then you have other guys here that says, honestly, under 700, okay, big facts. Making six figures, you can fix credit with a few changes in discipline and add it to your lifestyle. Okay, that's kind of boring. But let's get into some of the high power roasting this here stuff, right? Shall we? Day music! Calling a man night high value is an insult. The average man hears he ain't shit at least 10 times a day. My credit is age 15. Can I get a ooh sound effect? Oh! <laughs> like, stop the show. Who does weave, weave Zilla? Okay, I wish I could put up her real picture. Like, who does she think she is, right? I mean, here you have a lady who haven't seen her baby daddy since Bill Clinton was in office talking about if your credit score is under 600 at a high value male, man, chick, you haven't seen a high value man since you seen one, you know, on Mission Impossible, goddamn the movie, you, your old ass can't get no goddamn body. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Now, Brother Tariq says something. Give me some different music right now. Stati. Ah! 
I don't know why you're entertaining this mess. She's a woman. She has no place to tell you what and how a real man is supposed to be. Stop the show. Give him a round of applause. All right, and I, I, I really wish you guys understand what he just said, because so many of us are letting um, weavers and sandalers, okay, who are mad and it's not our fault, to tell us what we need to be doing as men. When they can't even, you know, get the the, the left corn off their foot. All right? Take music! Because with all due respect, they never was a man and never will be a man. Often cases, they never ever been exposed to this man. Oh! Stop the show. Yeah, most sisters <laughs> have never been exposed, especially a man on my level. <laughs> Take music! So the minute they start talking about how and what a successful a real man is, the conversation is over. Ignore that. They don't know what it takes to be a man. And see, let me just talk about that real quick before we go to the next thing. We have allowed women too often to tell guys, all right, what a real man is. Now, I, I want to talk about this, okay? Let's look at um this particular uh screenshot this is important here's kevin samuel's high value men traits earning okay this is what he says 10k a month earner earning 10k a month for three years group acceptance for other high value men have a network connected online socially visible unity useful to others well that's, that's definitely me okay but none of that has anything to do with a 600 or below credit score again she's not even using what they what these are um, as her system that Kevin Samuels has created. Okay, let's look at this real quick. Day music. Good credit scores show self-discipline. If a man's credit is below 700 or there's no progress being made, I don't see how he could even label himself a high-value man because your credit score is your report card to American standards. Every high-value man, even rich, wealthy, knows the power of their credit score. Okay, but it doesn't matter what American standards are. Kevin Samuel's definition, and it's in his goddamn fans group, okay, with your red weave. You know, again, it, it you can't change the narrative. Can I tell you what how 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 your red weave looks? No. Okay. Day music. The other way it goes. A woman telling a man what he is supposed to be or have, which I'm sure don't have a man. You're right. You're right, it's always the single one. Stop the show. It's always the single chicks with no man. No man telling the guy what a man should be when your broke ass don't have nobody. Take music. The other brother goes, you're not a high value woman if you show up with other men's kids, 80K in student loan debt, two and three abortions, and an OnlyFans account for love. Now, <laughs> A lot of women are doing that. Okay. Brother Xavier goes, give me some different music here. Stati. Boy, y'all women are trying it with these standards. How do y'all come into the manosphere telling men who or what they supposed to be? High value isn't based on income. It's based on mindset and purpose as well. I want to talk about that. <clears throat> you never see men going into like um, the shade room, boss up, you know, I might go and look at articles, but I don't go and comment. Um, I don't go to um, don'tdatemgirl.com or any of those damn um, freaking black women hangouts telling women what they need to do to become women. I just don't care. Why is it that women always have to come into the men's spaces and try to tell us like what we care about, what you think? And you do it in my comments all the time. Like, why? Get it, like, go somewhere. Get a life. You're annoying. Which is why you're single. This brother goes, take music. Not going to listen to a woman on what a high value man is definitely not a woman who don't know the difference between your and you are. You should be you shouldn't be worried about a man, love. Laughing like shit. I mean this is <laughs> And the guy below him goes, perfect examples of not taking female words seriously, because to them words are uh, utilitarian, no different from men using equipment and tools and toss them away when you're done. 
men, it's not like that words are bonds to us. What do we got here? Thank music! Let's not talk about some of these women's credit cards. The ones who cable bill is in their kid's name. Can I get a, ooh, sound effect? Oh! All right, so let's go to the end of the episode, shall we? So guys, what do you think? <laughs> it's pretty, pretty hard roasting there. But listen, I was glad to be a part of the video. Make sure you comment, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Check me out. I'm your boy, yo, Shay Duke Jackson here, um, you know, doing another episode. Kevin Samuels, Facebook reaction, man. Like, Kevin Samuels is a goddamn whole economy unto himself. He's like, you know what I mean? Um, he's like a whole, he's like California. He's like the, like the California economy, a part of the United States. Like, Kevin Samuels is a part of black YouTube and the metaphor, but he has his own country of economy of, of, of content. And uh, yeah, I'm getting some of that money. So shout out to Kevin Samuels in the Kevin Samuels Facebook group. Check out the Patreon guys. Check out all my information, uh, the Patreon. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out. <laughs>